this uh, short podcast, I want to talk to you a little bit about how the payments have been uh, flowing out to uh, producers who are uh, suffered losses. Uh, the slide that I'm using is something that the Economic Research Service put out uh, back in November. Uh, it shows the differences in net cash farm income from 2014 on the left uh, to what they project the uh, net cash farm income is going to be in 2015. That's the forecast. So it looks like it's going to lose about uh, $30 billion in, in income from di different sources, 128 down to 93. Again, these are estimates and that's an aggregated number, but it does give you a sense that there are problems out in farm country. Uh, first off, you see that the, the there's going to be about $18.2 billion uh, decline in crop receipts projected, uh, $25.4 billion decline in uh, animal products. So. Uh, livestock prices are coming down. Uh, that there is going to be some relief from lower cash uh, expenses and the direct government payments, this is the one that's changed. Again, as, as of November, the payments had just begun flowing out and those payments of uh, $1 billion are, is, uh, was too low. Uh, what actually went out uh, as of the end of December uh, was about $5.2 billion. And the, the point I'm trying to make today is that uh, there are, uh, the safety net is working, but 5.2 billion is not gonna make up for 18.2. And there's gonna be a lot of uh, um, pressure on farmers as we go forward, especially crop farmers who, uh, who see low prices continuing for quite some time. So just as a follow up, um, out of the $5.2 billion, uh, Texas has received about 200 million uh, for different payments of different crops. Uh, ARC, uh, largely for, uh, I would say, corn and uh, wheat, and PLC payments uh, largely for uh, long grain rice and peanuts. So just, again, payments have been flowing. Uh, it's pretty clear from this graphic that they're not enough to offset what expected to be the losses, and there's going to be a lot of pressure going forward. Thank you.